Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about gas volume. Gas volume. Um, a couple hundred years ago, a guy named Amadeo Avogadro made a hypothesis. And his, pipe, his hypothesis was that at a specific temperature and pressure, the volume occupied by one mole of a gas would remain constant. I mean, yeah, it would remain, it would be the same for any gas at the same temperature and pressure. And this is, this has become a law now. And, 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 and his hypothesis stands. Now, one of the one of the conditions which we often use in in chemistry is room temperature and pressure. That's usually um, abbreviated to RTP. RTP, and the conditions of room temperature and pressure are two hundred and ninety eight Kelvin. In temperature and um, this can also be represented as 25 degrees centigrade and the pressure is usually 100 kilopascals 100 kilopascals and which is often also known as one atmosphere of pressure one atmosphere of pressure now for these specific conditions, 298 Kelvin and 100 kilopascals, according to Avogadro's law, one mole of any gas under these conditions will have the will occupy the same volume. Now, it's been found that this volume is 24 decimeters cubed, 24 decimeters cubed, which we can also represent in centimeters cubed as. 24,000 centimeters cubed. All I've done here is multiplied this by 1,000 to convert it to the centimeters cubed. And from this, we can we can we can figure out an equation, a general equation for this particular condition, room temperature and pressure. We can say that the number of moles to find the number of moles. To find the number of moles of of um, from the volume, what we need to do do to the volume is divide it by this. This being the mole the molar volume, uh, being the volume occupied by one mole. So we divide the volume which we have. So let's say it's a volume in decimeters cubed. Let's do decimeters cubed for this particular one. The volume in decimeters cubed, we divide it by the volume which one mole of gas would occupy in decimeters cubed, which would be 24. And from that, we would find the number of, mo number of moles. And we can also do the same equation, but for centimeters cubed. And the only difference is that we, we divide it by the volume one mole of gas would occupy, but we do, we, 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 we have this number in centimeters cubed, so it'd be volume in centimeters cubed and we divide that by the volume occupied by one mole of gas in centimeters cubed which would be this number 24,000 and so these are the two equations we, which we can use to figure out the number of moles if we add the volume at room temperature and pressure or the the all the volume if you have the number of moles at room temperature and pressure. Now I'm gonna go through two examples questions which 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 involve the application of this principle, the the application of this this equation. Okay. Let's have a look at the first question. How many moles of nitrogen molecules are there in six decimeters cubed of nitrogen gas? at room temperature and pressure okay so looking at this question the first thing which we'd want to do is 
and and bear in mind that we don't need to know the molar mass of this the this stuff these particular questions don't involve finding out the molar mass but there are there are questions which may involve using that volume to find the moles and find the molar mass and all of those sort of things but this question we don't need to do that how many moles of nitrogen molecules are there in six decimeters cubed of nitrogen gas at room temperature and pressure so this is a very simple division question using that equation the number of moles equals the volume divided by the the molar volume being um, 24 in this case for decimeters cubed what we need to do is divide this volume by the molar volume which is 24 so 6 divided by 24 um, okay well, with my calculator let me figure this out and that would give us one quarter so 1 over 4 which is 0 0.25 and so the number of moles, number, uh, let me write that, moles, number of moles, moles, would be 0 0.25. Okay, let's look at the next question. What volume in centimeters cubed does 0 0.02 moles of oxygen gas occupy at room temperature and pressure? For this question, we've been asked to give our answer in centimeters cubed. So from this, I can I can see that the equation they want me to use, um, which would the, they they want me to use to to give the answer in the simplest, simple the simplest route would be moles is equal to the volume in centimeters cubed. Divided by one, two, divided by twenty-four thousand. And since we're since we're being asked for the volume and not for the moles, we would need to rearrange this equation. Okay, so let me see. So what I would want to do here is multiply both sides by twenty-four thousand, and that would give us the equation moles multiplied by twenty-four thousand equals the volume in centimeters cubed so from doing this this particular calculation knowing that this is 0 0.02 so 0 0.02 times 24,000 equals Four hundred and eighty. Four hundred and eighty. So there we go. That's how we'd use that equation to find out the the moles from the volume or the volume from the moles. And this this particular one, four hundred and eighty, that would be in centimeters cubed. That right, the units we are on. The, yeah, no, no mole. There we go. So yeah, that's how I would work it out.